We're at Lesson 3.3c. We're going to talk about the rhombus method to construct parallel lines. We've got seven previous videos for Chapter 3 that are linked in the description in the Geometry Playlist or at the end of the video. In Video 3.3a, we learned a method to construct parallel lines using a compass and a straight edge. Another method is called the rhombus method, and it uses a property of a figure called a rhombus. So for those of you who have forgotten, that's a rhombus. So, this is the rhombus method. The first thing we do is draw a line L and a point P not on the line. So you can see we've got line L and we've got point P that's not on the line. The next thing we do is choose a point Q on the line, putting it to the left and down here to P is helpful to follow along with what I'm doing. We put our compass point at Q and draw an arc through P that intersects L. We label that intersection R. So all we did was make a point Q on this line L. We put the tip, the point of the compass there, and we draw our arc through P and through L, and we mark that as R. The next thing we do is use the same compass setting. We don't squeeze it or open it any more than what it was set for this one. We use the same compass setting as the first arc and draw two more arcs, one from P and one from R. So with the same compass setting that we use to make this brown arc, we make two more arcs, one from P, like that, and one from R like that. And we label the intersection of the two arcs as S. Now we draw line PS parallel to L through points P and S. We just take a straight edge and draw a line through those two points P and S. And we make line PS and points PQRS form a rhombus. You can see it PQRS. We have a rhombus there. A rhombus is a quadrilateral with four congruent sides. So just like a square, all the sides are the same length. That's four congruent sides. And this is called the rhombus method because if we draw a quadrilateral PQRS in our diagram, then it's a rhombus. And the same compass setting was used to construct all four side lengths. See, and a rhombus has four congruent sides, and we used the same measure for all four side lengths. So that's the rhombus method, okay? Our next lesson is going to be 3.4. We're gonna construct a perpendicular bisector of a segment, 3.4a. So you can try doing this rhombus method and see if it works for you. See if you can do it, okay? And I'll see you next time. Bye.